Hey, orange one here. So I actually, uh, I just went to the dentist and it's me actually recording during the day. So my talking might be a little slurred, I guess is the right word. Uh, yeah, I'm just recording when I can. And I thought this would be a good opportunity. Um, so I think from what I remember, judging by where people are, Benedict was getting materials up there. Um, you guys did have, uh, you got in some combat recently, so I did want to be kind of careful with y'all. Because Feta is missing that left leg, which I think Benedict has. Mm hmm But we are just going to wait. Uh, Arnold, I thought it said was being attacked. Was that this? This dust boss? I think it was. Hey, so I've been wondering, um, how many of you, well, first of all, if you, if you didn't see, if you're not on Discord, go check out my brother. Um, he's got his, uh, his own YouTube channel that he's actually had for quite a while. Um, Windslayer, he's under my subscription, the ones that I'm subscribed to and my featured list. So if you're curious, like who he is and what he he plays it's pretty similar um but i was curious how many of you guys watched that band lord with him and i if you wanted to see me actually interacting live with a person then go check that out also he and i are twins so if you're curious as to what i look like you can see it on his channel because he actually uh has a camera of himself which i don't know for me still weirds me out i'm probably not going to do that doing the camera of myself <laughs> and there goes my anonymity as well right um the, I don't see any shirts better than this right now which is a huge bummer because we're giving you pretty much trash in terms of armor or weapons and now you're gonna be super slow are you a soldier? No, you're a prince. So, Masura, I probably should make you a robotics dude. Kind of what I'm thinking. And if I can, I should probably make a robotics bench for you, like a whole bench for you, because it looks like these guys are working. Uh, do we actually produce enough metal to do that, though? That's the next question. I don't think we really do is gonna be our problem because this does not have any workers because I'm not good at my job uh anvil ezia while you're at base I want you working on that if you're doing nothing else at least these things are finally getting built we're getting some hydroponics put in so that's done and these are being worked on yeah, our food production is just going to explode. Once we get these hydroponic vegetables planted, we should have a ton of water. Um, and that should hopefully take care of our food situation, which has been not the best for quite a while now. Uh, Southern Hydro 3 is actually starving. But you're a, you're a new hire, aren't you? I'm going to say this should be your most important task. Yeah, you're new to the job, so... Uh, you're starving because I kept you in a cage for a while before you joined up with us. Not my proudest moment. Necessary evil though. Uh, robotics expert, how are you? You've actually got a number of robotic limbs on there. They're actually starting to get really nice. So what we really need to do is uh, start upgrading some limbs on people. Essentially, that should be our goal. But I can do that off camera, I think. Unless I run out of things to do on camera. But we'll see. Uh, Silas did get that recruit. I was thinking to help with our recruitment speed. We could just uh, be checking bars and getting people like Masura. Because I think you can definitely check this one out. And it was fine. And we did see uh, a pacifist down, and I think it was um, not Flats Lagoon and Shark, right? So 
we do want to be checking those bars in the swamps because it looks like whoever put that one comment was totally right. Like that is a good spot for finding some of that stuff. Uh, so you're not actually fighting someone, you're just running past them. Southern Hydro 4. Why are you in the soldiers? You should be... Um... Here? Maybe... Right there? I think. I think that he's in the right spot now. We got our Hydro Farmer 4. Hydro farmer. Yeah, we need it. we do need to yeah, reorganize some of our people down there. Um not something that I think I need to do on camera though. <laughs> okay, so we got Tuner who's guarding the hideout there. We do have these guys which are selling things. I don't think they're gonna have what we're looking for. I think they just have fish and drugs. Cause that's all you need to live in, in the swamps apparently. I will take your rice weed though, because if I can hydroponically grow that, that would be a good start to our Black Desert City colony. Uh, we could also set up a little house in here. Not too expensive actually. Yeah, it doesn't look like this uh, this town has anything else to offer us. It's uh, pretty desolate. So I think. We're gonna head out and go to the next place. Uh, Mud Town or Grey Flare? Grey Flare is closer, so let's go there first. <laughs> I just love how they literally sell food and drugs. And that's it. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> oh, it's just Kenshi, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys are doing just dandy out here. You're fine. My one concern would be if those things come by that we can't breathe, but I think that's in Black Desert City, not in, near Shem, or Venge, so we won't get lasered, um, we're not gonna have the unbreathable air, I mean, we could actually settle in the Grey Desert, there's actually a body of water in the Grey Desert, and there's another one in, right by the Grey Desert, right by the Black Desert, I and mean, we could send someone over, check out that. There might be a nice little spot on the coastline there, actually. Yarlsberg, you're speedy, but you're also hurt. Redmain. Redmain, I'm kind of curious as to what's going to be over there, so I'm going to send you over just to, you know, check out our options. Uh, Silas, you are aimless, so you are already at the bar. I should have checked that sooner. Man... This city, for a second, I was like, man, this city got really destroyed when uh, their, um, whatchamacallit, their, sli their slavery well, got cut off. And I remember these guys were never part of the UC. Uh, you're old tech hunters. You don't really feel like touching, talking. Well, yeah. Oh, there's actually Hobbs there. It is interesting. Nice little violin for us all, right? Uh, we don't want to go to Flat Lagoon. They shoot at us there. How you? Uh, why don't you go to the one place that we know we don't have hostilities that may have those pacifiers? I do think we should keep someone there. If it's not size, it's probably gonna be like one of these princes that we end up keeping there. And Benedict, you were running to... Yeah, you were going to go to the Grey Flare Village. And of course you're going to go through terrain that slows you down a lot. Whatever. You know what I want in Kenshi 2? Is I want aquatic skeletal limbs. Like, ones with flippers that make your uh, swimming skill, like, really high. You know? And, like, your... Uh, your running skill really low. Like it, if it had like a plus and minus like 50 or whatever to each of those, that would be really solid. Oh, also before we try and do anything else, uh, where is Blake? Blake. You wanna try recruiting someone, Blake? See if you got that silver tongue of yours. You can tell him of our, our great history. 
uh, loot this guy one first. And wow, we've actually almost ran through a lot, a lot of the people that we had in here. I uh, take that and talk to them. Hey! Nice. I don't even know what to call you. You gotta be a plate maker. I'm gonna go plate or two. Um, we will give you armor. I should also probably give you that crummy weapon back, but I'll just take one of these. Come on over, Red Rover. I also, I really should have made you like a weapon making dude, but I, I will also should also be like a prince for that is what I'm thinking. That should work. Oro, oh yeah, Oro was working on first aid. I forgot who, who was working on first aid. Let me know, Oro, if you want more uh, exciting adventures. I mean, you're part of the soldier squad, so you should see some more adventure, but we'll see. Um, ba -ba -ba, I just added you, and then I never actually gave you your job. There first, and there second. And then third and fourth, I think, on the other ones. That's actually making us building materials, which we don't really need, but... Oz will make them here, and then we can ship them over to the copper mine until it's a little bit bigger. Kind of where I'm at right now, mentally. We'll see. Um, hold on, just give me a second. Alright, sorry about that. I had to just do something really quick. Um... But we're back. Back in not the real world. <laughs> okay, so Silas, you're running through that super mild burning forest, right? My least favorite biome for Let's Play, because <laughs> the volume is just insane on that. Benedict, don't tell me that you're stuck. Please do not be stuck. I don't want to have to send Silas to save you. You cannot be clipped in there. I know there's an unway to, there's a way to unstuck people on what it is though so yes okay good you're not stuck you're just in a weird little spot uh that is residential hideout residential this isn't one that we already checked out is it no this is yeah this is the gray flare village is there anyone who's selling rice or and or narcotics. <laughs> oh, Kenji. There's a skeleton grave lair. Dude's got some serious stats, too. Look at that. That's pretty cool, also, how that kind of pops out. Is it that a uh, lady skeleton? Is that what that is? Pretty sure it is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know skeletons well enough. When you do character creation, do you get the an option to um whatchamacallit? To have genders for the robots. I really liked how um they did that in what game was it? Uh Starbound. The glitch um robot people, they're called glitches or whatever. And they, um, you can have uh, an input or an output as your gender, which is kind of interesting. And then with the flower people, it's either a blue flower or I think a pink flower, but it's like they're both flowers. And so I'm assuming that there isn't really a gender. Um, what's going on with this infested lab? Hold on. Um, excuse me? Is this one of the ones where upstairs there's like a million things trying to kill you? Oh, and Silas, just hold up. You have a crossbow, so I'm not too worried. But, uh... What's the deal with this place? It says infested. Oh, is it infested with skin spiders? Yeah. Kind of weird that this building's just empty like this. You know, like, I get... That there's not an awful lot gonna be in an abandoned place like this, but 
nothing really you know yeah we don't have room for anything uh ba -ba -ba. you do actually have rice weed on you which reminds me we actually were trying to bring white rice weed back there to plant some whoops that makes me feel dumb Okay, so let's come back. Bring that rice weed back there. And hopefully we get things sorted out by the end of the episode. I mean, we're less than halfway through, so I think we'll be able to get back for sure. Okay, you're in another little village. This one actually has a proper store. Yay for capitalism. And a bar. Now this is war more like what I'm talking about. Is this mud? Mud Town. That for some reason reminds me of Mad Max. Dr. Chung. The try out bad luck gambler. Is someone gonna get in a fight over their... <laughs> a clean luck. Uh oh, this isn't going well. <laughs> oh, there is an anti-slaver pacifist here. Huh. Well, they they do like us already, so we don't need to pacify you. Don't pull the licks, the licks pull you. Okay. Conversation's getting a little odd. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with these guys, man. Not with your stats. Yeah, okay. Cat crawlers. <laughs> I mean, I like how they give you the text options, but I am a fan of when they have actual card games in the game. Weep the Garu. <laughs> oh man, you really are an addict, Dr. Chung. Can I talk to you? I want to hear your dialogue. Oh no. Second rate chin chisel. Miracles. I, I'm going to ask that. Oh my gosh, organs. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not going to have you join us cuz you're a human, but that is a cool recruit. <laughs> yeah. At least he's honest with it. Yeah, no, I don't want to play cat crawlers. I'm looking to trade. No. Literally all you offer in this bar is a game. Everyone knows that that's like business 101. If you want customers, you gotta have food, man. Like, if you can get a license to sell food, it's almost always a good idea. In those those types of situations. Okay, well this did not give us uh, what we were looking for. Mud is going to be an option for getting some materials though, because I believe these places sell materials. Uh, what else were we doing? We were trying to maybe recruit more people, or what's Jazz up to? I kind of want to see if there's any recruits in these bars that we can add to our robotics industry up here or or potentially we go to the western hive and try and kidnap some worker drones because fogmen yeah we got a couple of them but i would actually prefer um a prince if i could get a prince yeah all these dudes are mercenaries this is not a good place for you to be in jazz uh but 
Uh, where's the other the other bars here, right? Yeah. Just see if there's any hivers looking for uh, employment. Or any dreamers, I suppose. No, you're just an outlaw. Mongol crazy and outlaw, those are your names. Okay. <laughs> Um, and it does not look like there's any, um, any hivers that would be willing to join us, unfortunately. There's a couple humans that would be willing. But we've got higher standards than that. Go ahead and go back into this little store. And just, um, maybe you could buy some stuff there, because we do have the grog on us. And then we can do our instant deposit, or, you know, direct deposit. And, oh, no, 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 Jazz. Oh, you actually do have robotic limbs, but they won't even hurt. That was a misclick. Got anything for sale while I'm just wasting money over here. Don't mind me, I could have 21k. <sighs> okay, why don't you come back to the anthill, because we're not going to get any more money from there. At least we have a good amount to work with with the stores that we're going to you know like that's good right uh benedict you are actually at shark already cool all right the, where was the pacifier now i feel like they were in here no actually i feel like they were not actually in here um but i've forgotten where they were Let's just check this place, because we're we're outside this dancing skeleton. As horrifying as that is. Uh ba ba. Dubs Mamuso. Now that is a name I can get behind, my friend. I like that. I like your style, human. Yeah, there's no uh no pacifists in here. Or pacifiers. I don't think you can be a pacifist in this game. Which, you know, I, I tend to criticize games that do that, that don't let you take a non-violent option. But I kind of get it in Kenshi's world. Kind of get them uh, in just a little bit more defensive. And therefore, a killer. <laughs> uh, this is that black shifter's... They got nothing in there, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure is the this one. That's the no, that's the uh faction HQ. Okay. Is there a third big building that I'm missing right now? Got the uh the bar here, the black shifters bar. And we got the dancing skeleton. That does look like that's it. Why don't we go back into the Black Shifters? Maybe they do have Pacifist in there. Because wasn't it the other place that actually had a Pacifist? Um, oh, who are you? You got my attention there. Skeleton in the place next to Dancing Skeleton. Magstas, Holy Nation. Well, if I, you know, was trying to cool things with the Holy Nation, you would be a good person to know, but that is not my goal right now. Why don't we have you wait outside the store that will likely sell us building materials? Shop and big shop. Ha! Huh, the big shop's in a tiny building. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Okay, Silas, you are back before the episode ends, and then I forget. Let's go ahead and make some rice, uh, hydroponic rice. Um, we'll get researched first, and then we're gonna have to build it. I'm actually gonna just put all the rice in here. In that case, uh, if I send you off somewhere, then we have the rice present. Farming, 
rice weed. And then I think that we'll be able to automatically um, build some stuff. Uh, actually, you know what? While, now that you're not tied down, we could send you um, go to uh, one of those outposts and see if we can sneak you in and look for pacifists. Because what I was thinking was, and I don't know, I'm probably going to forget and then have Silas just out in the middle of nowhere. But what I was thinking was that Silas could um, try and go there with a disguise, and if things are going well with the disguise, then we'll actually try and pull off a little um, conversation. Oh, what? We got another one. The S later to later. That will that will do splater. That will do. And um one out. We can use some armor. Make some actual armor. Cool. Uh yeah, we're running out of weapons. Blake, why don't you go ahead and put that other weapon in here? This crummy one. Splater. You gotta do that if you can. How's our storage? Got some being stored. Oh, this is out of raw iron. What? Uh, splater. We have an insane amount of raw iron. That thing should not be empty. Ever. That, like, literally makes no sense. So, go over here and work it. Reaching resources. Yeah, um, hauling items too. No, that wasn't really what I wanted. I wanted you to grab the iron from there. Do we not have enough mines to meet the consumption that we're doing? Okay, we do have rice weed there researched, which means we're gonna build some rice weed hydroponics in here. Or not. How well, you could do hydro can you not do hydroponic rice? Hold on. Hydroponic rice weed. Okay, so we do need to actually do some research for that. So that's probably not gonna be in this episode. But maybe it will be. And things are going well for us having these people just kind of running. Um, it is actually daytime, so Benedict, why don't you see if you can get those materials here to get us at least started in gathering our own materials. Okay, this door is still shut. Well, we'll just, uh, we'll just wait a little bit. Maybe at, um, the base here at Ant Hill, maybe we could try and recruit someone. Um... Jazz, are you back in here? Yes, you are. I'm just gonna close that gate then. We shouldn't just have to leave that open. And Jazz, can you actually recruit one of these dudes? Oh, the fo fog prints over there. Go for that. I think we need to take your weapon. Talk to you. Nope, never mind. Did not work. Well, we tried. Not very hard, but we tried. Hmm. Um, I don't know what we called the guy that was going to work up here, but he doesn't look like he's working. That's weird. Because I thought that they would have everything they needed. We got copper right there just waiting to be made. Uh, motorist Ant Hill 1. Oh, you need storage. Come back up here. We can fix that. Instead of you just sitting there with like a billion presses. 
Be some storage. Um, storage. Electricals. That's for electrical components, which I don't think is actually what we're trying to store. We're trying to store robotics and skeleton parts. Which is different than uh, storage for... Um, I'm also going to put that over here, kind of in the center. Than the actual robotic limbs. As far as I'm aware, they don't automatically transfer those things over. You have to do that manually. These things should get built, and then you should continue on with your work. Your sacred work, motorist. I think I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.